disturbing allegations are being brought against an Apomo church and a Guadalupe business. It's part of a civil suit which, they, which claims they played a role in a minor being repeatedly sexually assaulted for several years. KSBY's Melissa Newman spoke with the teen's attorneys today and joins us live from Napomo with the changes the attorneys hope this case will lead to. Karina, Jacob Roldan was living in Orchid before he was arrested. He's currently in the Santa Barbara County Jail after pleading guilty to several charges, including lewd acts against a minor. But now this new lawsuit is claiming that several facets of the community played a role not only in the abuse, but allowing it to continue for years. It's about the destruction of this young man's youth. It's an abuse of power. It's an abuse and betrayal of the most intimate type of privilege that we have. Attorneys Don Ernst and Nigel Whitehead say they're going to put every resource they have into a new lawsuit involving several defendants that include Jacob Roldan, the man convicted of lewd acts against a child and sexual battery, the House of Prayer Church in Napomo, and Apio Inc. in Guadalupe. This was systematic abuse by this mu music minister who then worked at Apio, who then hired him, and while this young man was at work, as a minor child, was called into his office repeatedly and sexually assaulted. The abuse lasted from when the child was 14 until he was nearly 18. In the complaint filed May 10th, attorneys say both the House of Prayer Church and Apio could have done more to prevent the abuse from happening. If proper training and supervision had been in place, much of this wouldn't have happened. We would love to see some changes uh, both locally to the entities involved, but if this can be a broader message, and this is one of the things this young man really wants to come out of this, changes to prevent others from going, going through what he's gone through. Attorneys say this case is an example of an abuse of power. We are seeking justice, but by holding others accountable, it helps a victim like this young man deal with it. Essentially, it wasn't your fault. The House of Prayer Church that we're standing outside of right now told me they declined to comment until they are served the paperwork. Apio refer refused to return our messages. Live in Napomo, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. All right, Melissa, Jacob Roldan is currently serving a one-year sentence in the Santa Barbara County Jail. Once he gets out, he will be required to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. <laughs>